to the Batmobile. Ooh, my doe brothers and my doe sisters, welcome to Jet Simply Gaming. I'm Jerry, the Invisible Tree Wiz, and we got a bunch of special stuff to hop into today. Thanks for being here, y'all. Thanks for being in the Christmas spirit. The ghost of Christmas past is here to stay. Once again, y'all, my name is Jerry, the Tree Wiz. This is Jetson Fleet Gaming. We do a video for you guys every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday religiously. Sometimes we get you a Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, but the main schedule is Monday, you get your big video. Wednesday, you get a catch-up video, and Friday, you get the live stream of all kinds of goodness. Today, I want to talk about some of the things Things that we talked about with Hyro, the game's creator. There was a lot that was said in that interview, and I think some people may have missed some of the biggest highlights. One of the things that he talked about was PvE, so I'm gonna get into that. One of the things that they talked about was 2v2, and when he when I asked him the most exciting thing coming, he said it's on the tech side, and that honestly excites me so much. So today's video, stick around if you want to catch some Peggy Sue or Bobby Sue. Everybody's calling her Peggy Sue, it's Bobby Sue. Bobby's a guy's name, Sue is a girl's name. It's a guy and a girl, two guns. It makes sense, it's funny. So I've got some Bobby Sue gameplay for you guys in this video. It's pretty good, I got a little sneak peek of Bobby Sue. I got it myself too, you can do the same thing if you wanna see Bobby Sue gameplay now. But she will also be available if you beat the Deja Vu Brawl, which I will, and then I will bring you Bobby Sue gameplay in depth with all the numbers. This deck that I'm showing in this replay, I have been undefeated in it. Unfortunately, a lot of my replays were just lost. I was gonna show some really crazy replays of me beating some of the top players in the game with this spell cycle deck. I literally just tried to build the cheapest deck that I could. I'm using like a level seven or eight caveman. I think I actually upgraded him to level eight. And uh, so many of these cards in this deck are under leveled. And I really didn't think it was gonna be something that would dominate as much as it did. I wish I had the other replays to show because a lot of the players that I beat are well-known players. And uh, it's, it's kind of blowing my mind that I've been able to handle so many different situations with this airstrike drill cycle deck. It's wild and I love it. I know the command ad skin kind of helps, so but it was kind of impressive for me to win this battle. But really, if I can get some of those other replays, I'll throw them on at the end of the video. But what I really want to talk about most of all is while Hyro and I were chatting, there were a few things that may have slipped through the cracks if you weren't paying attention. When he talked about 2v2, he said that they call it prison rules and that they play it so that must mean it's more than just on their radar it is coming one day and it also lets me know that they're making sure to do everything the right way in World War Doe fashion. He said it's going to be very World War Doe. And I like that they're taking a direction where this game is setting itself apart from other games. So we're not trying to do 2v2, just like some other games in this genre that already have that. We're not trying to do the same clan wars type thing or club wars. They even mentioned maybe a sort of way for clubs to, pe to compete in a PvE setting. And if you notice that Hyro said he was very into StarCraft and these other games that uh, uh, kind of paved the way, those do have a sort of a campaign mode. So I'm really excited to see what him and the dev team have coming up for all of us. Um, and especially when he mentioned the tech side is what we should be most excited about. I would not be surprised if we see uh, sort of a tech overhaul. What I mean by that is right now we can't see the exact numbers that Slayer does. A lot of times it's difficult to find out the exact amount of damage something does to a commander. So I think we're gonna see some massive bug fixes and overall improvement, but I'm also, and this is just me guessing. I, I've had no conversations that you guys haven't heard. I put it all on the air, I put it all out with you guys. I do not work with the devs. I just love you guys and I love the game. But I do think, I'm just guessing, this is a prediction, we're probably going to see, uh, maybe just because I want it, maybe this is why I'm saying that. I wanna know what Slayer damage, demolition damage, I need more precise math. I wanna do the math, I wanna do the numbers. So I think that's what we're probably gonna be getting as far as the tech front, I think bug fixes, and I think a little more clarity on how things work, the damage that's done, and we're gonna be able to uh, kinda plan our battles a little better because we're going to know exactly what things do. Let's get into this Peggy Sue gameplay. Bobby Sue, gah! All right, so the way that I got this gameplay was just from the commander bot. The commander bot will play random cards against you, and one of those cards for him is already Bobby Sue. I'm not kidding my doe brothers, my doe sisters. I spent like three or four hours trying to capture this footage. It's decent, it's not the best, but I spent three or four hours 
trying to get this footage. I Last night, all night, this morning, since 7 a.m., I woke up, played the Commander bot, recorded every match, and he never played Bobby Sue. This, I set my iPad down, I was about to give up, and then I heard her, her interesting accent, and I loved it. It was cool, I ran over, and there she was. So, I noticed she has the same range as Buck, and I noticed she's able to split her damage. What I really want to see is her targeting. I think that's going to make her valuable if she's able to retarget troops, or will she stay on the same troop with both bullets? Maybe you guys can help me watch this. I have gone and watched it frame by frame, but it appears she's a little glitchy in this replay. So in order to do this, you can't just stand there. The commander bot really doesn't do anything unless you do something. And the commander bot is derpy. If you get him stuck in a bear trap, he just stays stuck in the bear trap. There's so many strange things with the commander bot, but it's such a valuable place to train and practice. And there she is, Bobby Sue. She's in the back. And unfortunately, she gets frozen right here, so we don't get to see exactly what happens. But this is when I realized she was on the map, so now I'm just trying to stay away so we can see what she does. Let's check out how fast she takes down this left tower. She's going to use both guns. I imagine it's like having two bucks. You notice she's level 11, and that's maxed out, which means she's going to be a rare card, I believe. So she made pretty quick work of that tower, a lot quicker than a buck would. Now she's going to move over here and target the mad scientist. Nope, she gets blown up by a side buck. But there she is again on the tower. So let's see. This tower's going down decently quick. But it looks like her damage is split. You see how one bullet's going to the left? I think there's a, a little bit of a, a bug there. Hopefully she's not buggy when we get her in, in, uh, tonight. I'll be playing with her tonight. As soon as that brawl's open, I'm going to complete it. Yeah, you can see there again, the bullets are kind of going to the side. But we do get to see one more Bobby Sue played and a little bit of how she goes. But yeah, unfortunately, she is glitched right there. And I wish I could just go get more footage. But like I said, it took me three hours, no exaggeration, just to get this footage for you guys. And there she is again, shooting to the right. I don't think that's how it's supposed to go. Uh, she takes half damage from Buck. Did you know that? So notice, Buck did not do the right amount of damage to Bobby Sue there. And she doesn't even appear to be... Is she shooting me? Yeah, her bullets are definitely going to the side, so I wasn't able to really do the frame-by-frame -frame breakdown that I had intended to do with the three hours of work for this, but I'm going to do an in-depth breakdown of Bobby Sue. I'm going to get her, I'm going to unlock her, and I'm going to play her in this mode to really find out exactly. I might even do a... Let me know if you guys would like to see this. Bobby Sue versus every card. Let me know. That type of video would take me a very long time without having a developer build, but I would love to do it for you guys. So if that's something you want to see, let me know. If not really, no worries. I'm not going to go through the trouble of it, but I'm curious to do it myself. So if you want to see Bobby Sue versus all the other cards and kind of my breakdown on what I think she'll be strong against and what she'll be weak against, I should be able to play with her. If we go over here and look at the brawls, the deja vu brawl, I'll also in that video tell you guys what I think is the easiest way to get through to the brawl. So let's take a look. She does ground and air, and this is level one. So it's hard for me to... I don't remember what Buck was like at level one, but I noticed she has the same range as Buck. I also want to be able to see her cost before I'm really able to predict whether I think she's going to be strong or weak and what I think her main uses are gonna be. So I'm excited to do that. I wish these replays stayed. I don't know why. I was so excited. I was gonna brag on my gameplay because it was so epic. Uh, but you know what, if you guys are still here, we can hop into a live match before we close the video out. So the big takeaways from today, you can get Bobby Sue as soon as this brawl, well, not as soon as it starts, but as soon as you complete it, eight hours and 58 minutes. So the other takeaway from today is go watch the video with Hyro if you have not watched that video yet. Also, take away some of the big points from that, some of the things they talked about that are coming. PVE is a huge thing to say, especially some sort of combat PVP. And actually, if you go back and look at this video we did, Conspiracy, where the Doe Overlord Hyro dropped his phone, I think this may actually not be Club Wars. Everybody said Club Wars is coming, Club Wars is coming. It may be a sort of Club Wars, but now I'm thinking it may be a sort of PvE way for us to compete, which I think would be really awesome. I, I know they even mentioned that with 2v2, and they said they call it, I think they said prison rules. So, so much excitement from that discussion that we had with Hyro, the Doe Overlord, the creator of the game, and I couldn't be more excited. But yeah, if you guys are still here, thank you for being here. Consider subscribing to this channel. If you like this kind of content, I'm gonna hop into one live match because I love y'all. 
So I've played seven matches with this deck. I've got seven victories. Let's see if this eighth one is the unlucky live Lahu Zahir. By the way, thanks for sticking around for these videos. I always look forward to hanging out with you guys and reading the comments and being here. And I told you I was gonna do it. Z-W-C-K, is it Z-W-C-K or is it Zwick? I don't know, but here's your shout out. Thank you for being such a loyal fan. I appreciate the replays you send me. Thanks for asking for a shout out. Here's your shout out from the bottom of my heart to the top of my head. I love you. Zwick or Z-W-C-K, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I know I love you. All right, here it is, the live battle. Time to win. Time to win. Oh, oh, pump it up, pump it up. Friday, we'll be doing the live stream. I think one o'clock is what we're going to shoot. Oh, wait, Friday's Christmas. All right, so stay tuned. I got I to gotta check with the fam what time I can do. Uh, might be interesting. You guys, you guys want to watch a live stream on Christmas? We shall make it happen. Maybe Friday I won't be able to do a live stream. I'm not going to be in town. But if you guys want it, we'll make it happen. Oh, I knew it. He didn't want to be on TV. Come on, though. You know you want to be on TV. Just play the match. All right, let's do it again. Free chest for that. Nice. I haven't been saying nice anymore. Too many people say nice. Drop the CE. Just say nice. That's nice. Too many people say noise. Nice. This is going to be a nigh match. That's nigh. All right. Mm. So the way that you play this deck, Roger. is you drop spell bombs. Moving. I really didn't want to take damage from that, and I didn't, which is good. I'm going to get an overclock on my heal because it's extremely important. And I cycle a bunch. Oh, this is where I really, really wish I had um, Discombobulate Array. Discombobulate and Drill work so perfectly against Yeti. I'm going to have a really hard time with this match because of that Yeti. Not looking forward to that. Bail, Commander. There we go. Nice Bail. All right, also another thing, when you have your Minimander, you really don't get any value from Minimander if you don't use him for anything. All right, so we're going to have to go Nightfall. We're going to have to go Drill here. I don't want that there. That was a bad drill, but we got to do what we got to do here. Airstrike does Slayer damage. I got to get behind this Yeti. Didn't work out. I just got to rage him out. Defense is our main offense in this. I don't know what I mean by that. Offense is not our main offense. Defense is our main offense. All right, so we got enough mini manders to take this down. Plus, our snipe's going to come in handy. And now we got to bail for a second. All right, that was bad. I shouldn't have bailed. I should have just stuck it out. We got another Yeti coming down on this side that I'm not a fan of. So when he comes out, I'm just going to blast him this time. Let's go ahead and take out this Catling gun while we're here. I'm really going to want to use a lot of my health on this Yeti. I do not want to take a lot of damage from him. We can get another bear trap for him to get into. That'll be nice. Let's keep our mini mander out of the fray here. Let's get this nice slayer damage here. We got to target this buck. Let's get him out of here. He's high damage. Here we go. Run. We're not going to make it. I should have stuck it out. He still survived. All right. What do we need to do here? We are going to overclock our rage. We're going to wait to heal. We're going to get this heal. And then we're going to be at full health. So now we got our cozy. Oh, we're not at full health. All right. But at least we got our rage. So we are going to be able to take this out. I'm ready with the snipe. If I need it, I'm just going to do it anyways. Because I'm panicking. All right. Let's take out the buck. Done. All right. So now it's time to start cycling drill. Because we got 20 seconds left. And we can do it. We can get in here with our mini mander. We can cycle drill. All right, get another mini mander. There we go. Okay, this is bad. I have to use a snipe. But you see, my spells are powerful. Power. All right, let's get another drill and an airstrike, and we'll be good. Well, not just one airstrike, but you know what I mean. We are good. Oh, yeah, this is over. We got Howling Winds. Good game. So I know this, was, uh, this player wasn't at the same exact level 
as me. Well, we're at the same level, but I mean, I'm kind of higher ranked. But this is eight wins in a row for this deck, so I'm going to keep it going. Do you think you can beat me win this deck? Let's do a battle. Also, I'm in this Gaggio tournament. I'm going to try to do those matches today with JRR. It's going to be a great time, y'all. We got so much good stuff coming to the channel. Thanks for being a part of the Jetson fleet. From the bottom of my heart to the top of my head, I love each and every one of y'all. Peace.